friends. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come around here, I'll make a more day. I get one down in a second if you wait. I fly like paper, get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come what is wind energy? Wind energy is the cleanest renewable energy on Earth. Currently in Cape Cod, there is a debate over whether or not to install an offshore wind farm on the shoal between Nantucket and Cape Cod. Ted Bennett and I were captivated by this issue and wanted to find out what positive and negative effects these offshore wind farms have had. We then traveled to the country of Denmark, which currently has the most offshore wind energy of any country in the world. We met with multiple key figures in the wind energy industry in Denmark to have our questions about offshore wind energy answered. How much energy is generated? You would say today, uh, turbines um, generate uh, about 20% about, uh, of the Danish electricity consumed. So uh, it's, uh, it's not only a margin of it, uh, it is quite something. Have people's opinions changed? When it comes to acceptance, people in Denmark has always been very positive. The last 10 to 15 years, uh, about 90 to 95% of the Danish people are uh, positive towards uh, wind turbines. Well, Denmark is a special case because we've been having wind farms for many, many years, so they have always been in the landscape. And People are generally very much uh, positive towards uh, wind farms. The last uh, two, three, or maybe four years, they have been uh, extremely uh, focused on uh, climate change and, uh, and so on. And uh, that has made people more aware of, uh, for example, sort of wind turbines. Uh, um, but that is one part of it that, that have made people very much uh, aware of it. But also, in Denmark, the uh, the oil prices are extremely high at this moment, and so people know that uh, if we have to be become uh, independent to the the oil states and the countries in the, in the Middle East, we have to do something. Mm. So mm -hmm. that has uh, created and. Uh, very large uh, focus on their sustainable energy, not only in the public but also uh, among the politicians. Mm -hmm. I certainly hear and read about some of the the houses or residents that are impacted by it, but but I don't think you. Um, I, I have not. I don't. I don't know anybody who's not mm -hmm. who's not for it. Yeah, I think I think Denmark might be a special case, but but in, in Denmark the sort of the, the feeling is definitely that it's changing to to become maybe slightly more negative because there's sort of a great a great uh, green environmental movement in sort of 10 or 20 years back where we thought everybody thought it was great to have this, and then sort of as as our landscape is getting filled with wind turbines, that people say, well. Maybe in this area we don't want any more, mm -hmm. maybe in this area we don't want any more. So that's why we've seen in Denmark that it's been, so the last two years, that been, it's been actually, we actually have, a, have had a reduction in the number of megawatts installed in the country. How big of an investment is it? It's, a, it's definitely a, a, a bigger investment than on the land. Uh, the further up you go, the more expensive. What makes the, the offshore turbine so expensive is that uh, you, you operate on water and it is extremely expensive to, uh, to lay down the cables, to send out the, the service people, um, that is uh, extremely expensive. So um, the cost for uh, an average uh, turbine here in Denmark is about uh, three to four uh, uh, million euros. Wow. And uh, yeah, you can uh, multiply that. With, <laughs> for example, just the, one turbine. Yeah, yeah, just one turbine. Yeah, and then the uh, the cost of uh, implementation and, uh, and putting up is, uh, is is quite expensive. Mm. According to Danish law, they have to be maintained uh, about every second year. 
but an average turbine will last about 20-25 years. Yeah. It is uh, an expensive uh, way of generating uh, power, but um, it's not any more uh, costful or, uh, or expensive than uh, the old uh, coal. How do wind farms affect the surrounding life? There, um, there hasn't been any documentation that it, uh, it affects the, uh, the bird life and, uh, and, and, and life above the water. Uh, when it comes to, to the ground and to the water, it affects um, the, the fishing life and the, all the plants and stuff while they're putting the turbines up. Once the, the turbines are up and then they function, um, the fish are coming back and, the, and the, actually some of the fish uh, are nesting around the turbines. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has some effect while the, the work is, uh, is progressing, but uh, once the turbines are up, uh, you, can, you can't really tell if there is a difference between, between before and after. So. I think the part was that the effects are really, really small uh, with regards to bird. And I think they might even have a positive effect on the amount of fish stock because the wind farm uh, works as an artificial reef and specific types of fishing management are not allowed in the area, so it's also kind of a sanctuary. So I think the impact on the, uh, on the life in the water are, are small and potentially positive. Yeah, on the foundations uh, you get uh, like more uh, life, you can say, uh, large of, uh, populations on the foundations and, and more biomass, you can say, and more for the fish uh, to eat and, and actually... Uh, we are creating that. We are creating <laughs> a better environment. Have these wind farms created an obstacle? Not to my knowledge. We haven't had any problems in Denmark. So, we have had, uh, we have had uh, two problems uh, with their turbines uh, on, the, on, the, on the land, but we haven't had uh, any problems with the turbines in the, in the water. Would you recommend offshore wind energy to other countries? So take your, if you take into account that uh, you have sulfur emission, carbon dioxide emissions um, and so forth, I think it would make the uh, offshore wind farm um, give them a better position. But of course you have visual impacts from offshore wind farms as well. Um, I, I think that the numbers we've seen is that, that the spin is continuous for the price of what you mm. installed wind energy. Uh, so I think in America it's fairly competitive mm -hmm. uh, in many areas. I think people say it's the green issue, but it's also this that you want to be independent of oil, imported oil anyway in America. Uh, so that's, that's sort of an important.